Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe After Effects. Neon colors never go out of fashion. To get into the trend, I will show you guys how to create neon text effect with some simple steps. So guys, let's get started. In the beginning, create a new composition. I'm naming my composition Neon Text Effect. Name your composition and click on OK. After that, create a new solid layer. And I want to name my solid layer as Background. Next, create a text layer and type your desired word that you want to use while creating the neon effect. Similarly, I'm using the word neon. Also, create another solid layer so that you can add the saber effect in it. And click on OK. When it's done, go to the effects control panel, search for saber effect and drag and drop it to the layer where you want to add the saber effect. After that, jump to the effects control panel. You'll find the saber effect. Under it, drop down the option of customize core. Change the core type to text layer. For example, I'm setting my text layer to neon. Then adjust the glow intensity so that it looks vivid. Also, set preset to neon so that it creates pink neon color. Adjust the glow intensity till it looks good in your perspective. Now let's add a keyframe to end offset so that you can see this animation after adding keyframes. Drag your playhead at the beginning and enable the keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon to the right of end offset. Set 0% at the beginning and set 100% at the end point. When it's done, easy ease both the keyframes for smooth animation. Press F9 key for shortcut. Let's play the composition. Oh, but I want to add some blinking effect to it so that it looks nice. So make sure to take note on the next step in order to create such an effect. I am adding keyframes to glow intensity at different frames and increasing and decreasing glow intensity. Wow, it's done. Now let's add a camera. Also create a null object to make it the controller of camera. Enable the 3D for the saber effect layer and parent the camera layer to cam controller layer. Now let's make our background similar to the pink neon color. Oh, the background is not clear. No problem, I'm gonna fix it. Select the saber effect layer in the effects control panel, drop down the option of render setting and set composite settings to transparent. Then adjust the color settings so that it best suits the background to our final composition. After that, turn off the visibility of the text layer and it's done. Wow, it is looking amazing! Let's try this effect using another word. So our tutorial to create neon text effect is finally done. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time.